Welcome back to Mona Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rishi. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. So today I'll be doing two thrift with me. The first one I went to was a bust and so I'm going to a second store and I just really want to get a lay of the land and see what's here. I wanted to go downtown in Center City, but after the last thrift with me, I went, there was just nowhere to park ever. <laughs> so I decided to go a little north of downtown but i'm still not north north i don't know how to tell you where i am but i decided to go that side and found another thrift store so i'll go to the first thrift with me first and then i'll go to the second one and then i'll come back here and i'll show you what i got so here's salvation army number one this really drew my eye but i guess i didn't want another denim piece which is why i left it but i love that there's shirling on the inside i was just going over the store i just wanted to um i just like that it was very clean and organized and it's color coordinated um but as you can see a lot of the stuff is like very um understated you know i love this quilted jacket that i look looked at a few um, quilted jackets here but overall the the mood of the place was very understated pieces i love the skirt i think i remember when this was out this is another skirt that was really lovely but i'm not ready for summer things just yet and um zara they price zara up here this these are new with tags and these are twenty dollars so they definitely um, prioritized <laughs> Zara at this store. I was going through the blazers. If you can't find anything, then um, because this is very traditional workwear type of store, then you can definitely go into the blazer section, and then this would be like your um, basics store. You get your blazers, you get your layering piece, but there's nothing striking really jumping out in any section. In the denim section, there's a lot of universal thread and um old navy but moreover it was skinny jeans with stretch and i would much prefer straight jeans like a hundred percent cotton or at least 99 percent cotton but a lot of them were like really stretch and skinny this i think was a corduroy um it wasn't my size and the rest of the area here was quite worn um so Overall, it's just a store that I didn't have a lot to choose from if I was looking for dynamic because most of the reason I go out thrifting is because I want to find something unique. Um, this is a Zara top, $8 actually. I really like this vest. Um, I'm not sure if I would wear it, but I really liked the shape on it. I like this striped sweater, but I don't think the style of it was anything special. This cardigan I did like. I'm not sure why I left it. I, I probably knew that I wasn't hauling one sweater. So on to Salvation Army number two. I wasn't feeling very hopeful after what I just saw um, the other day at the first Salvation Army. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. That's um, not so bad. This is a modern top cardigan. Did like the stripes, but it's a modern top. Um, this I did mine vintage I'm seeing a little mix of vintage in here and I just did a quick walk through this color area isn't usually my go-to but I did like the stripe it looks very Parisian no tag I think it was time and true actually um, so there are some more sprinklings of time and true and old navy type um, tops in here as well so I you know, I after the last thrift store, I definitely wasn't expecting <laughs> a lot here. So I'm just going through looking for some pistachio because I'm still looking for the trends that I did in the last video. Um, quick swing through the grays. I wear a lot of grays during spring. Um, but yeah. I saw the back of this and was very hopeful, but... It's very messed up here, but I did like this sailor collar on a fair isle. Red is still in the season, and luckily they actually color coordinate their sections. This is a really good um, short coat. I love the gold buttons, and it seems to be in very good condition. Uh, $15.99, that's not bad at all, but yeah. So far, this place has a lot of 
everyday wear, which is what most of us wear anyway. Uh, this is a fun red bummer. Is it? Does it come with the thing underneath? Oh yeah, it's attached. Oh, unfortunately, I'd have to cut this out. What do you think? <laughs> it's fifteen dollars today. Just cut this out. <laughs> I like the bummer by itself, but I don't like the hoodie inside. This is by Black Rivette. Hmm. It's a little big, or so I probably would have. I'm looking in coat section. I saw this one, which would have been really fabulous um, camel coat. But it does have some like moth damage here, but I loved the lapels on this. It's showing really cold on this but it's a warm like camelli color i found my silver but i'm absolutely not picking up a puffer i want to be done with winter coats <laughs> oversize is still trending and they have this um like chevron print almost looking cold water creek coat and if i'm not certain this looks like it's 2.99 so this would be a huge um steal Here's another fun coat by Easywear. There's like this faux fur right here with a black lapel and then it's double breasted. It doesn't feel like the best quality and this fur looks more like <laughs> one of those little bathroom mat things, but I like the idea of it. New York and Company. A uh, puffer with fur accents. If I found this earlier in the year, I would have definitely gotten this. Um, I did find this that I've added to my pile. Black blazer. I've been looking for these for a while. It's by Cleo Leather. So I'll give this a try. The dress section was all modern pieces and there wasn't anything that really jumped out. I did like this polka dot, the idea of this polka dot dress, but I know I wouldn't really gravitate to it. But I just did a quick look through of the women's section and nothing the dress section and nothing really jumped out um to me from this section but yeah a lot of more modern pieces i was looking at snake skin because snake skin is trending especially in handbags um but yeah i gave it a look through and nothing was really um pulling my eye i did like this black one i couldn't see where it was from I loved the details on the sleeves and I did love that it was a shift dress. You could do a lot with a shift dress. So if I had to label, I'd definitely call this my coat or jacket place because I am loving the like coat jacket selection, not, not the clothes so much. Um, this, I definitely love the fit of this leather jacket this is the next blazer i actually i'm leaning towards the other one but this is the one i really love these pockets here this is the vintage the other one was Anne Klein. hopefully you can hear me the radio is really loud in here so hopefully you can hear me um but yeah so this is the vintage and the other one was Anne Klein. well vintage and Klein. so they're both vintage I like the idea of this, it's just really cheap. It just feels really cheap, <laughs> but it looks pretty. Quick switch off the camera, I'm in men's. My phone capacity is done. I am definitely in a no blazer buy, but you know, I have to check out the men's. <laughs> I love this like camel color um, jacket. And it's just like this fun blazer. That's really, this boxy blazer is really flattering on women as well, which is why I tend to love coming in here to look for these boxy blazers there's this linen one this is gonna be a bit too oversized for me um but i do i'm not sure if you can see that it's looking quite cool on camera but it's like a warmer linen 
what I loved was this trench coat. Oh, I can't, the color is just not coming up. It's like a chocolate to like a milk chocolate, not like deep chocolate. <laughs> there for 18, it's like Misty Harbor, but I really love this color. Um, I'm still on a no coat buying ban, but we'll see. What else is in here? We have all the trench coats. This one is a gray. Um, can't see which one this is by, but yeah, some really nice. Um, this is by Cybertron. Nice um, boxy coat. Oh, we have some gray. Is this gray? Yeah, it's a gray trench. There is some wear on it. And it's rather big, $23. They say it as is. But it's like a really big um, men's trench. It's, it's more like a gray, like an ash gray. That's gorgeous. What else is here? Oh. Oh. Yeah, more leather. I'm just, I just love looking at the leather pieces that they have. Yeah, so they have some vintage um, leather pieces in here. So I would definitely... What's this one? This is by... I can't. Is that excelled for twenty dollars? This one would definitely be a good male. Fe this is definitely a female one. It has the bus things. So this was mis misfiled. <laughs> this is a female jacket. So for the selection, I don't know if you remember that I have a black similar kind of. Um, Thing like this that I found last year this is by exclusive imports and it's just a like open bomber I think this what do you call bomber um <laughs> what do you call this bolero type um thing I really really love this and I love the colors here as well and I love that it's white because we're going into spring I you know I want to see the lighter colors um I felt this was an interesting fabric and it's just a like wide cardigan this would be really good for layering as well with another like turtleneck so i think this would be a really fun um piece it's by lies j and um yeah polyester acrylic i just really liked and it's like a murky like um green color like sea foamy deep green sea moss kind of green going on so i like that i just said i prefer lighter colors but this pass <laughs> You know, I can't give up um, past a striped top. This is by um, Apartment. Oh, no. I can't read. Uh, Aida. Yeah. So just, you know, regular striped top. that I, It's a mock neck as well, which I also like, which is why I picked that up. This is a two-piece by um, Alfred Dunner. Well, it's a mock two-piece. So this, again, with, like, jeans, it, it, there's nowhere it's going. It's built in. And I thought that was a funky little piece as well, just with jeans. This, again, I just loved the two-toned with this sweater. Um, this was pretty funky. I love the play of colors here. So if this opens up, then you'd see the line here. Um, but yeah, again, it's just like a sweater cardigan. I think I had most luck in the sweater section. Um, this, again, is not my size, but I really liked the crochet and the scalloping on the sweater here really really like this so this is what it looks like in fall yeah nice gray i also do a lot of gray at this time this again is very wide and i'm thinking that with this bow um even if it's a little big for me this would be great for like off the shoulder so imagine this off the shoulder with the bow right here that would be really really cute they do want nine dollars for this so it's on the higher end i can't, definitely can't read this was that jj jeans or something i can't i can't see I can't see, <laughs> but that's what this is. Um, this again is like another little like bolero. So it's just like one button and it's open. So this, when it's cold, you can just throw this on. Um, when it's not too cold, I mean, just throw this on as an extra layer. And I thought this was really cute. And this is by, by design. Yeah, not too old. This I picked up because we're doing a lot of uh, corporate wear as one of the trends. I loved the flowers. It has a little flutter sleeve. It's not my size, but, um, you know, we have to look into all sections, you know, if we want to pull stuff out. I've had 
similar tops like this. This is more like an aqua. I'm not sure who's speaking it up well here. Um, another little vintage piece, which from I saw this I knew it because I've had um, pieces like this before. I thought this stripe top was really cute. But yeah, so just to show you some more other things. I also saw these. These are a pair of Italian. Um, this is like the stretched up by Pancaldi. Um, Italian shoe and then this leather belt that I really like the tips on this as well. So. so I am back home and the third store I wanted to go to, I actually was speaking to someone at the counter when I was checking out, which means I bought something. And the one that was the third store in that vicinity, like 20 minutes out, they said it closed. So good thing we, I got chatty at the counter or I sort of gone up there and the location no longer exists. I think they said it's closed for three month renovation. So I ended up only going to the second, um, to two stops. And I did get something at the second one. And I must say, I did like the second one. The first one, nothing really jumped out at me. It was really more traditional workwear-esque. Um, so nothing that, even if it's workwear, you can always like reuse it and, you know, rethink it. But, um, a lot just wasn't jumping out at me. Here, I know if I want a good coat, I need to check the second thrift store first. And so um, I was very happy to find that there were other little vintage pieces sprinkling in. It had art that I had my eye on. So it, just overall, the sensory <laughs> um, excitement was a lot more peaked at the second Salvation Army. So I'll definitely show you what I got and you're gonna think I'm crazy. But let's go. So you saw me go jacket crazy and there were such good options for leather. And the leather jackets that I have right now are very fitted. And uh, for the past year or so, I've been, you know, preferring a lot more oversized. And even if it fits like this with a little room. So it's not like I'm looking for like gigantic oversized, but they're the ones I have, the black ones I have are like very like fitted to me, um, which is, you know, it still works with the style that I wore it with, but um, just throwing it over like a sweater and stuff, it would have been a little tight. So I definitely went <laughs> leather crazy and I picked up this one. So this was in the men's section and when I tried it on, it's actually warmer than this because this is um, just like a satin lining inside. This actually has like quilting. So when I tried this on, I'm like, um, this would be perfect for right now or for days like this when it's cool, but it's still in like winter spring area. So I ended up grabbing this and this is by Excelled Collections. It is a large. I'll still try them on, even though it's just a jacket. I'll still try it on here. Um, with something else, probably with jeans so that I can get a better idea of what this looks like. Next, I got this black leather jacket um i loved the little pocket right here i have seen quite a few with just the slit um or different style pockets and i've been looking for something like this which is like a traditional blazer um cut or blazer style but in a leather jacket so when i saw this i was just so excited to find it it is a size 12 and it is by leather cleo but you know, vintage size 12, it just fits like a nice large um, jacket with a little room. So this was the next one that I was really happy to find. So after finding that leather jacket, which is like my dream leather blazer um, style, I wasn't expecting to see this there as well. And the leather on this is even softer. It reminds me of my Kenneth Cole um, long um, leather trench kind of jacket um but yeah it's like butter <laughs> it's slipping out of my hand it's like butter soft and i really love the fit on this as well so this is an ancline and it's a medium it's made to fit like boxy but i couldn't believe that i found two and i've been looking for this style in my size for at least four years <laughs> 
I found both of them at the same time. I love the little detailing right here. I'm not sure if you can see this in the shoulder. I love this little, um, just a little detail that, you know, it makes the fit so much better. But I just love, love, love how this feels. So I went leather jacket crazy and I got three black leather jackets. They're all different. I forgot to say. So this one, you know, this, this has a slit pocket and not the flat pocket. So yeah. <laughs> the final thing I got was this little um, bolero style sweater thing. I just loved, you know, the vintage of the motif right here. And this color is like taking me into spring. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the colors, um, all in this. It's, it's giving me hope and the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this is by exclusive imports. Um, and this is what the label looks like, but I do have a black sweater that has the same kind of like swirls and stuff, but it's black on black with my little mop neck. So when I saw this, I'm like this with some jeans, perfect. And yeah, I, I love them. So I did find one spot that I really like. So let's see what the rest of Philly have in, has in store. So South Jersey is like just across the bridge from Philly. So um, there may be days where I might pop over there to see what they have, maybe for the next haul, or maybe I just still stay around here and see, um, try some Goodwills this time, cause I didn't get to see if there were any Goodwills nearby. So I'm gonna feel out for some Goodwills and some other, um, independent thrift stores and then see how that goes but guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to let me know in the comment section what piece is your favorite because i only have <laughs> jackets and um a little sweater which is almost like a jacket as well um so let me know which piece is your favorite as well don't forget to subscribe i love for you to join the family and if you did like this video please give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.